Hi everyone, this is Chris Cobb again with Flight Stomp. And the last tutorial I did for YouTube was how to create a simple fluid simulation in Blender 3.0. And this tutorial is how to get this fluid simulation imported into Unreal Engine 5. And as you can see, I've created a very simple fluid that has a simple looping animation. And I'm going to show you how to take this Alembic or .abc file and put it into Unreal Engine. So let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is select both of our objects, our domain and our fluid. I'm going to hit R for rotate, X for the X axis, and rotate that 90 degrees on the X axis before we export. And as you see, I have my fluid testo 2 that I'm going to overwrite here. And I have my animation only 100 frames. This tutorial is just for testing purposes. You could go back to my previous tutorial where I show you how to create this fluid simulation from the beginning and what features you need to add in order to customize it to your liking. And as we're exporting, we're only going to select the liquid itself, the mesh that's been baked, and make sure we have the checkbox for selected objects only. And all these defaults should be just fine. Originally, export hair and export particles are checked. Since we're not doing either of these, I'm going to uncheck both boxes. This is only a liquid simulation, no hair particles involved. So I'm going to overwrite. And as you can see, it's going to export frame by frame in the geometry cache. And now that we've exported our simulation, I'm going to get rid of the original from Unreal Engine 5. This is Unreal Engine 5 Preview 2. I've also tested this in 4.27 and 5 Early Access. So I'm simply going to right click in the content browser I'm going to choose to import, and we're going to double click our ABC file, our Alembic Geometry Cache file. And as we go through the options, we want to make sure that this is not set to static mesh, that it is set to Geometry Cache so that we can have our animation. For scale, I've chosen to scale on all axes to 50, and we don't need to modify our rotation on the X axis since we've already done this in Blender. Um, if you choose to export from Blender without applying a different rotation, you can do this here. Then we're simply going to import this. And now that we have it imported, we can simply drag it into our scene. I'm going to pull it up just a bit. We can hit play. And as you can see, there is our quite simple fluid simulation. And as I said, you can go back to my original tutorial on how to create this simulation in Blender. And if you have any requests for more advanced tutorials, let me know in the comments or shoot me an email at lightstompllc at gmail.com. And again, thanks for watching.